Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kim Lily Prosperity out of Pula, Georgia. And in this video, um, of course, everything I do is inspired by you. I'm telling you right now, you're going to like this video. So go ahead. And if you're on YouTube, hit subscribe and click that like button. And if you're on Facebook, you definitely want to follow me because I'm getting back into doing my videos again. And um, you guys always give me great feedback, great compliments, great inboxes that you like the content. So definitely follow me and hit see first on Facebook so you don't miss anything. So listen, um, some of you have noticed that in the nighttime, <laughs> I got a little lighting situation going on here. You guys know I am a single parent and uh, I, I watch my funds, right? So everything I do is pretty cost effective. Um, and I have seen so many videos about here's my lighting setup. And when you click the people's links, it's all this super duper expensive equipment. And I'm not into that. So I wanted to go over with you really quickly uh, my very inexpensive lighting setup that I have here right now because when you're shooting videos at in the nighttime it can be difficult and I feel like this just this just makes it look a little more interesting and I like the fact that you have different colors so here is the deal what I have is a light in the back of course right the mood ambient lighting but I also you have to have to have to have light in the front now in other videos, they'll be like, you have to have a three-point lighting system, one light in the back, maybe even like some, I've seen all types of setups, and some of them require a lot of space and expensive equipment. I use very inexpensive lights, so I'm going to show you really, really quickly. First, the front, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you this. Right now, I have a big ring light on, I think this is a 10-inch, I believe. A 10 inch ring light and, and let me tell you guys this ring lights have gone down so dramatically in price it's not even funny so there's no excuse for y'all to be out here like you ain't paid your phone bill and, and you you don't have money for good lighting if you're if you have the courage to shoot a video which kudos to you that are at least let the people see you <laughs> okay that really helps your video okay so I have a big like 10 inch ring light, I believe it is right now, it might be 12. Um, but I also have a smaller ring light that I travel with. So right now I'm gonna show you the difference. This is the big ring light, but I'm gonna cut it off and then show you this is the small ring light. So you can see there's uh, quite a, a difference and let me flip the camera so that you can see the difference, okay? Oh. So that's the small one. As you can see, it's super small. This just clips onto my desk. It also has a phone holder with it. So that is the small ring light. And as you can see, it's pretty small. Great for travel. It still gets the job done though, so I ain't hating on it. Um, and this is the bigger ring light. And as you can see, I do not have, like, my window is right there, okay? So this does not require you to be in a big room. Here's the big ring light, okay? So you can see the difference between the big and the small ring light right there. The bigger one is actually on a stand on the floor. I don't know if y'all can see down there. Yeah, so it has, it's like a tripod type base, okay, on the floor. But the smaller one, right, is just simply clipped to my desk, okay? So, and I'm going to put my Amazon referral links for each one of these, I'm gonna set this down here now. And um, y'all see my money tree? I'm so proud of me. Okay, and turn it around. So as you can see, you have to have light in the front. Okay, if you try this with just a light in the back, then you know it looks like this and they can't see you at all. They can only see your eyeballs and your teeth. So that does not work. You have to have a fill light in the front so that people can see you. But be very careful. And don't go super duper cheap. If you choose not to use my referral link for whatever reason, I don't know why you would do that. But if you choose not to use the referral link that I will put down below, give me a few minutes because I have to generate it after I finish this video, then you won't have the option to change the color of the lighting. So I, I like a soft glow on the ring light, um, but there's three other options. Like, as you can see, this is more of a cold light. You can definitely see the difference in my face. 
This one is a little bit better, but this is the one that I prefer to give me more of a glow. Now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to show you mm -mm, how it looks on the light. Okay. So on the light, when I flipped through those just now, it was like this. That's the cold. That's the cold light. That's a little warmer, but this is the warmest. And that is the setting that I am using. So quite simply, again, that is my setup for the front fill light. Okay. Now I'm going to take you to the back light. So I will tell you this. There are tons of, this is where I can get a little technical for you. You got strip lights, you got all different types of lights, and this can be quite confusing when you go to buy lights. As a matter of fact, this is my second setup. So the first one I bought was a Philips Hue. It had great reviews. I was very excited. It was the best buy deal of the day. I had best buy rewards. I was like, yes, go Kim. Man, I got that thing there, and I was just like, what? And I am somewhat technologically savvy, but I ain't got time for too much. <laughs> so if I can't take it out of the box and pretty much implement it and use it kind of sort of right away, I'm returning, which is literally what I did today. I returned the Philips Hue, not because it's not good, but just because it was not as easy to uh, set up as what I'm using right now. Now I'm using the brand Govi. Again, I will put my referral link down below. I really appreciate it if you would use it um, since I'm telling you about it. And I'm going to show you all I had to do. I got the Govi that is Alexa enabled as well. So I'll be linking it to my Alexa so that I could just pretty much be like, Alexa, turn on my, I don't know, mood lighting or turn it to green or turn it to yellow. I think that's super duper cool and um, very, very convenient. But I have it installed on the app, but I also have it. I'll show you it has its own manual switch as well. So the app is the doo -doo 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 -doo, Govi Home app. Okay, let me see something. Oh, let me see, I'm be putting y'all all in my business. It's the Govi Home app, which is right, it's this one right here. Oh man, hold on, why did I do that? <laughs> my bad, anyway. Um, mm -mm -mm. okay. It's the Govi Home app. It's right by the Gum Road, okay? Right by Gum Road, right there. There we go, Govi Home. And then from this app, what's so great about it is, and I will show you when I take you over there, but I can literally from the app, turn from anywhere in my house, I can turn it off. See how the lights are off now? I can turn them back on from the app. I can change colors, um, actually, uh, and I'm going to show you how I do it, but I'm just, I'm just giving you a demonstration at nighttime when my son and I are going to sleep. Like I, I read somewhere that Amber and red lights are good to basically put you in that, that mood of sleep. So oftentimes I'll either do a red light in the house or an Amber light, um, Amber and red look very similar, but there are so many things that you can do with this app in the effects lab. They have, oh gosh, how do I get to it? I'm still somewhat experimenting it with it, but this is actually, this light, lighting setup is actually meant for behind your TV. So it can change lights in accordance with like the, the um, what you call it? With like the, um, the TV music. So it can go in rhythm to the music. Um, it has so many different colors, so many different, uh, I can't get it the way I want it. I can't even remember all the settings, but I'm telling you, it is very, very easy. You can do, yeah, like you could do effects, like if you have a party. Hey, you Togo, what's going on? I, I didn't shout out everybody else that jumped on, my bad. But yeah, you if you have a party, um, it looks good when you're doing your Zoom calls at night, which I do a lot of night Zoom calls just to have um, this here. So let me show you. Dang it, I can't find a dang old thing. It has a lot of capability, but okay, let's take that off and just go back. All right, so I'm gonna walk with you over to the lighting setup so that you can actually see it. Um, it's, it's super simple, so anybody can do this. 
I literally took it out the box, plugged it in, and was ready to go. And I like it. But don't forget, you have to have your light in the front to fill your face. Otherwise, you're going to be looking stupid. Okay? This is no bueno. All right. So, let's walk on over here. All right. And I'm going to show you. Ooh. Hold on one second. Let me flip the camera around. So, that candle smells so good. Um, this is all it is, y'all. It's two bars. Okay, right now they are set to orange. Here is the manual. Um, this right here is the manual button. Okay. And that's the power. I don't even know what this is in the middle. What is that? Oh, okay, all right, cool. That makes sense. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. I need to experiment with this name more. Okay, my son would love this. <laughs> and then that is, does it cycle between? Yeah, it cycles between colors. Okay, so that's handy because, you know, sometimes your app is acting funny or you might have to uninstall an app. So, um, you know, I can change the colors with the middle button right here. And then the top is the power button. So as you can see, that cuts it all the way off. Now these bars right here, they don't get hot, so you don't have to worry about the kids touching them. Um, but they, there's also a stand. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know where the stand is, but you can have them lying down vertical, um, horizontally, or there's a different stand that um, you can put place them in so that they stand up vertically. And I'm going to get that stand because I'm going to buy another set of these for um definitely to have for my tv behind my tv over here okay so um anyway on the app we'll turn it back on right this is how simple it is to use right so i will show you because i just think it's so cool right so got a lot of stuff going on right here but on the on the app let's go to the top right here this is the Gold V Home Lab app. And so you can click where it says Effects Lab. And they have all of the colors grouped together. And so you, as you can see, you can do all types of colors. That is the, uh, the purple. You know, y'all know y'all colors. I don't really have to go through it with you. But you can do a lot. A lot of different colors. Um, based on your mood, based on how you feel, to give you different looks. And so I think that's basically it. If you come out here, as you can see, you can adjust the brightness. You can do a timer on this. You have different modes. There's so much that you could do. And for both of these bars, which, by the way, they are connected. You cannot separate them. The cable is actually connected um but both of these bars only cost me what i think it's like 55 dollars from amazon so um again i will put my referral link down below give me a few minutes if you're watching this on facebook if you are watching on youtube then it will be in the youtube description box but this is the setup guys this is the setup what does that say oh please select the light segment i don't even know what that means okay let me go back to I know if I go back to the effects lab and go from there. Do I have it on the darkest purple? I think I like that purple. But that's basically how it works, guys. Okay? And you can you can do so much with I'm telling you, you don't have to have like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, again, I got two light bars. They're meant for the TV, but I have them as my ambient light i'm going to get another two um, bars for my tv and then over here on the desk um i'm using a bigger ring light but you can also use the smaller ring light and that is basically it did you guys find this helpful like i said it's so much better than um before just to make my videos a little bit more interesting people have been complimenting me on the light and asking how i did it so you know sharing is caring when y'all ask me for stuff i try to get around eventually to um letting you know yeah i like it and like, again even when i'm not shooting a video i use this lighting and i put it on amber lighting i light my candle i'd be like I was about to say her name, but I don't want her to play it because then it'll 
um, give me copyright issues with my video. But I put on my Sade. I tell you know who. The, uh, the DJ to put on Sade and that is what it is. So guys, it is not expensive to give yourself a little bit of a little aura. Is this the best setup, the most professional? Absolutely not. But again, as you can see, my place is kind of compressed. So I don't have this huge studio and this huge room where I got an overhead light and a fill of light right here in the back light. And no, it's a very, very simple setup. Um, I know how to finagle things. And again, if you're getting into videos, if you're doing videos, just experiment with stuff. If you like what I showed you here, then give me a few minutes using our referral links and then let me know when it comes in and you start, you know, using it yourself. Let me know. Even if you're not cutting videos, like I said, get those lights, put them on amber when you're winding down and watch how your house calms down. I've definitely noticed that my son's mood has changed. We don't allow, I don't allow any regular lights, only amber lights. Speaking of that, uh, another thing that I like to do that I have is this right here with the amber lights. Y'all have this, the TDG torch. So I also have these like strategically in the house and on the back of me, I always have white lights that cycle. So we got to set the, the mood for bedtime, for rest. So I absolutely love um, that as well. All right. So that's it, guys. I am going to go um, do my homework now. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Again, if you were watching on YouTube and you did, like, hit that like button and definitely subscribe to the channel. If you're watching on Facebook, then click follow and see first so that when I cut these videos, you don't miss anything. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.